What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this super cool kind of flying car from the sky effect. I don't know what it's called, but no plugins are required for this video. No special software is needed at all for this effect or for you guys to create this effect. So um, before I do begin though, if you guys can leave a like, that would be much appreciated. You guys are absolutely loving the videos. So that just means so much to me. So thank you so, so much. Comment down below. Uh, I wanna know where you guys are from. Like uh, what country are you from? Are you from Italy? Are you from Germany? Are you from the UK? Are you from the USA, Toronto, <laughs> Canada? Just let me know down in the comment section below. I'm kind of curious. So uh, yeah, let's, without further ado, let's begin with the video. What you want to do from this point is you're going to have two different clips. So you're going to have the first clip here, which is not going to be moving. In this case, it's moving just because that's how the video was filmed. In post uh, production, this was, uh, they had it as uh, like a keyframe to zoom in a little bit, just so it kind of gives it some dynamic movement i suppose um but in reality this is it really looks like this like a far shot if i go back it's just the far shot without them uh without the car in it so that that's what you want to uh do so for this effect you do need to have two different shots you're gonna have one without the car on a tripod so both shots are shot on a tripod and then the next scene is of course with the car parked in there the camera hasn't been moving at all the whole time and then you have your uh, your artists just you know carry on with the music video. What you want to do first is we're gonna make a freeze frame out of this so we can just select the car itself. Make sure that the so move the playhead to where they're not covering the car. So right here. Then you want to go up to the top and go to edit and go down to um, to add freeze frame right here. So click that button. Anyways, trim that, and we're gonna move this all the way up on top of this clip here. So we're gonna go into the effects. We're going to go down to masks and add a draw mask onto the clip. So you want to zoom in around maybe 200 and then you want to make your selection. You can click and drag to make a smooth curve or a point. You can do that however you want or you can go very quickly with just simple uh, points like this. So from this point, um, I do want to mention something is you don't want to highlight any of the shadows. So the reason we're going to do that is um, we only want to make a selection of the actual chassis of the car. So that includes just the body frame as well as the tires. Don't include the drop shadow because we're going to make a, our own fake drop shadow. And then as the video continues, it will smoothly, assuming that you haven't moved the tripod at all, it will just add its natural drop shadow and then we can get rid of the effects after. All right, so once you're finished, you're going to have like a little circle next to the pen tool. Click that and that will finish uh, the mask. So go back to fit. So if we click off of the draw mask, you can see that we made our selection as you can see here. We're gonna add a keyframe. So uh, to do this, we're gonna go into the uh, transform tools over here, or you can go into the transform tool over here on the left. Um, and we're gonna add a keyframe. So add a keyframe and then go to the Y axis and drag this out of the frame completely. Once we're at this point, uh, we're gonna go into the Y axis and we're gonna type in zero, press enter. So now if I go back and push play, it's going to look like this. You can see that it doesn't look natural at all. So we're gonna make it look a little bit more realistic. So from this point, we're now going to make a copy of, we're gonna make a copy of each tire and then we're gonna add um, a selection of just the chassis of the car. We're gonna go into the effects uh, properties. We're gonna go into blur and we're gonna go into directional blur, add that to the car here, the freeze frame. And uh, we're gonna change the, if we go into the directional blur and go to the amount, we're gonna Actually, we're going to type in for the angle, we're going to type in 90 degrees, type in enter because it's coming vertically, right? So um, now we can increase the angle so uh, or the, the amount. So if we increase this, the more blur there's going to be. What I want to do is as it's coming in fast from the sky, usually heavier objects tend to fall faster. Actually, we're going to add a keyframe at the very beginning. And then we're going to go around here and we're going to increase the amount of blur. And then as it gets closer, not too much. If you add too much blur, it's going to look like it's coming down very fast. So we don't want to do that either. So we want to go around maybe like 30, 32. And as it's going down, we want to decrease that. So we're going to go down to, well, we're going to go down to the very last frame, which is here. And we're going to type in zero. So now I want to go back and push play. It looks like this. But anyway, so once you're at this point, uh, we have our little bases here. 
Now, um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do the tires next. So to do that, we're going to hold Option and drag upwards to make another copy. This is the same exact clip as the bottom one. The only difference here that we're going to do is we're going to just make a selection of the actual tires and not the car. So to do that, we're going to go into the draw mask and we're going to delete it. Now, once we're there, we're going to go back to the effects. We're going to go down to masks and go to draw mask. So drag the draw mask on that clip. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just have it so we can see it, right? Um, and we're going to zoom in to around 200%. And we're going to make a selection. For this case, I'm going to click and drag to make a, a round selection this time. Then another one. And there we go. Um, so that is going to be, as you can see, I don't know how, how I can show you guys this. If I disable this, it's just the tire. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. So instead of redoing that, well, you can't add multiple masks on one mask effect, if that makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to make another copy. So hold Option and drag upwards again. And we're going to select the top clip now. And we're just going to move this to the left. This is just the mask, right? So we're going to move this to the uh, to the right. My bad. We're going to move it to the right. And so now if I disable the this one, you're going to see it's just the tires and it has all the effects that we have applied. So that way we don't have to waste our time and do it and everything else, right? So once we're at this point, what we're going to do now is we're going to select both of these two clips. As you can see, it's highlighting the tires. We're going to right click on that and we're going to go to new compounds clip and we're going to name this tires and press enter. And now it acts as one single clip, as you can see, right? And then this is going to be our back, our, uh, just the car and this is going to be the tires. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to offset the tires a little bit because the tires weigh a little bit, I don't know how to describe it, but it just goes, it falls further down the car because there's springs attached to it. So um, anyways, physics aside, what we're going to do is we're going to go into transform and we're going to go into the um, Y axis here and we can drag that down or up. It doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this down and ignore the rims and the tires behind behind it right now. We're going to take care of that in just a second. I just want to show you this so you guys don't get confused. So what we're going to do is we're going to offset it, right? We're going to offset it first to see how it looks and we're going to make the inner piece here. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure what that's called, but um, the part where the tires are, that inner inner sidewall, we're gonna make that black, right? Because you know shadows and stuff. So we're gonna go there, and once you're happy with where that's positioned, we're gonna move the playhead to the to the beginning. Now that we have that set, we're gonna add a keyframe, and then we're gonna scan through all the way until it kind of stops here, so around there, and then we're gonna type in zero and press enter. So now it's going to just go back here. Um, now, another thing that you can do is undo that, by the way. So we just have our first keyframe here is once it goes all the way down, it's going to keep going. And once the car, so ignore the tires for now. Um, but once the uh, once the car hits the ground, we want to go one frame again to the right. The reason we do this is um, for the suspension, I suppose. It just makes it spring up a little bit. So go one frame after the car touches the ground right and then type in uh, zero and press enter okay perfect now once that is done we have the car here okay so we can turn off or disable the top clip which is the tires temporarily just press V on the keyboard select the car all right and just kind of go to where you can see this and now we're gonna go into the um, titles and generators we're gonna go into I think it's an elements and we're gonna have shapes so drag that on top of your clip and we're going to trim this because we don't need the rest and just delete that. And now we're going to have a, re uh, a white circle with a red outline. We can change that. So just go over to the generator or the parameters tab. We can change the shape if you want. Uh, I'm going to leave it to a circle. I'm going to have the fill checked. I'm going to leave, uh, I'm going to change the fill color to black and I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the red outline because we don't need that. So disable that. And then the roundness, this is where you can change how big the uh, circle is. Increase the roundness, all right? No keyframes, we're not adding any keyframes yet. So just make this smaller and then just drag this to where we cover most of the tire. Now we're gonna make another copy. So hold option and drag upwards and now you're gonna select the top one and just drag it over to the right, okay? Like so. And you can, you can always adjust this because I know not all tires are, are exactly the same. The back tires can be sometimes bigger, so just adjust that accordingly. Now, once you're done with that, highlight both of these, right click and name it, I don't know, I'm just gonna name this black circles. Now what we're gonna do is match it with the speed of the car. 
to do that, simple. I'm gonna select this and rename this so you guys don't get confused here. So I'm gonna rename this clip to car and uh, we have the black circle. So select the car clip, right click and go to uh, show video animation and now you can see all the keyframes and everything, right? You actually wanna select the black circle and then uh, once you're there, what you wanna do is under the uh, transform, you're gonna have position X and Y. We're gonna add a keyframe there and then now just move the Y axis up. We go back to the black circle and go to where we can go around here. Once it starts uh, to go into the frame, we want the black circle to be already covering the tires. So in order to fix this, all you gotta do is just drag the, uh, the, the little Y axis down and just do that frame by frame. Now, if you do that frame by frame, it might look a little bit choppy though, uh, but just try and keep it there as close as you can. So around here, Keep going frame by frame and perfect. So now if I go back and push play, you have a perfect little uh, animation there. Now we can re-enable the tires. So it looks like this, okay? And again, I don't want the tires to kind of fold in already halfway midair because that just doesn't look natural. So we're gonna go back to tires and we're gonna go to the last, uh, we're gonna go one frame to the left here and I'm actually gonna go one frame here like that. And I'm going to move this down further so it looks like this, right? And right here, I'm going to move it. Let's see. I'm going to keep moving that down. Okay, so here, the right where it touches the ground, we want that to go back to where it was originally. So around like here. So it looks like this. Perfect. So now once that is done, we're pretty much almost finished. So now we have the car layer here. So in order to do that, we're gonna go frame by frame. Right here is where the car stops. We wanna select both the car and the black circle layer so it groups it as one. So right click and go to new compounds clip. I'm gonna name this car final, enter. So now we only have just the car. Um, so we have just the tires and then just the car with the black circles applied. Now once we have that done and we go frame by frame, so here, and then that's where we wanna add the keyframe to the this car clip. So we're going to, go to transform. We're going to add a keyframe next to position. Go one frame again to the to the right. We're going to move the y axis up like so, and we're going to skip maybe one two frames and just uh, put in zero. Type in enter, and then when I push play, it looks like this. It kind of gives it a little bounce, right? And you, if you think it's a bit too fast, which I think it is, just right click and go on the car uh, clip and go to show video animation. And we're going to just extend this out a little longer. So if I push play, that looks a lot more natural. We want to highlight both of these uh, clips. Go to new compound and name it uh, final effect. And now it's going to be as one whole entire clip, which is the car. And then once you have that, press command R and then press shift B. And then go to the end here and then we can make that go a little faster. So now it looks like this. And this will allow you to kind of um, create more of a smoother speed if that makes sense so it, it goes in a lot faster in the beginning and then it slows down right so we can change that with the speed here now last thing is going to be the dust so go into the project settings go to the dust overlay I will leave a link down in the description where you can download this now shout out to the creator of course um, but I'm gonna go and drag this over your clip and I'm gonna move it around here and I'm gonna change the blend mode so go to the compositing go to blend mode and change that to screen or maybe even lighten whatever you want. I'm gonna decrease the uh, opacity right as the car hits. That's where the smoke should start to appear. So push play, looks like that. Make this longer if we wanted to. Uh, just go one frame to the left here. All right, and go to edit, add freeze frame, shift Z, trim the end, zoom in. So it'll look like this. There's one thing that we're missing and that's the drop shadow. So before we, before you guys leave, I want to show you how to add that fake shadow. It's very simple. Again, no plugins. You go to titles and generators, you go to shapes, add the shape below the car layer. As you can see, we're going to trim the end, delete the end, select the shapes, go back to the parameters. We're going to change the, we're, we don't want to outline. We don't want any drop shadows for this yet and we're going to change the color to black and now we're going to change the uh, size of this so we're going to go into the video properties now and we're going to go into the scale y we're going to drag that to the left make it more kind of like a 
this kind of shape. And then we're going to go into the transform tool to move this and we're going to move it right underneath and we can extend this out a little bit. So now once we have that, we're going to go into the effects. We're going to go into blur and we're going to go into Gaussian blur and drag that there. So this is without any drop shadow. Looks, it still looks real, but it doesn't look natural. So if I enable the shadow, you can start to see that it's looking a little bit more real. And we're going to move, we're going to add a keyframe to the drop shadow as well. So we're going to move the play to the beginning. We're going to have the blur boost. We're going to drag that all the way to the right, maybe here, start it there, add a keyframe. Go to the end, not to the very end, but just where the car starts to hit the ground or make contact with the ground, which is here. We're going to drag that all the way to, not all the way to the left, but just a little bit. And now if I push play, you're going to see that the shadow gets darker as the car hits the ground or comes in contact with the ground. And that is what makes it look a lot more natural. So as you can see there, as you can see there, and now when we add the dust, you know, you can't really... Um, you can't really see it that well. Like it kind of hides it a little bit. So if I push play from the beginning, you have that going on. Yeah. So if you guys found this video helpful at all, please leave a like guys, subscribe, turn on a bell notification. So you don't miss out on a video like this. And I hope the video wasn't too complicated. If it was, let me know in the comments section below. I'm always curious to improving my videos. So just comment down where you guys are from country wise. And uh, I'll catch you on my next video, which is on uh, Monday until then. Peace out.